What does the New King James Version say about the Godhead? Let's look at this. In the King James Bible, God's perfect, pure, holy word, there are three references to Godhead. Very important number there. Um, Acts chapter 17, verse 29, Romans chapter 1, verse 20, Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. This is the first reference to Godhead in the King James Bible, and it says, For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. The Godhead is a reference to the whole makeup of who God is. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay? Three in one. One, two, three in the King James Bible. What does the NIV do with the word Godhead? Type in Godhead here on Bible Gateway with New King James Version. Two results for Godhead. They've removed one? Yes, they have. Which one did they take out? Romans 1.20, Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. There's the two references to Godhead, but what did they do with uh, Acts 17.29? Let's look. Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or stone, something shaped by art and man's devising. Divine nature? No, the term is Godhead. Very important uh, word there in the King James Bible. And these devils that translated this New King James Version changed it to divine nature here. It doesn't even make any sense. You can say, but Godhead is sort of a meaning the, the divine. It's saying Godhead being Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You're not supposed to make a, a graven image of it like the Trinitarians love to do. They change Godhead to divine nature. How would you even make a, a uh, graven image of a divine nature? It doesn't even make any sense. The condemnation in the King James Bible to not make a graven image of the Godhead, the New King James Version changed it. And the word Godhead is not archaic. It's one of God's titles. Hmm, rather strange. If you don't understand the, the importance of the Godhead doctrine, then I would recommend watching this sermon here. I'll put a link at the end of this video on the Godhead doctrine. I go through a lot of the scriptures proving what the Godhead is and why it is one of the most profound, most important doctrines in the entire King James Bible. So, I would stay away from the New King James Version. It is, uh, it's not God's perfect word. This version right here is, uh, it's a satanic counterfeit of the perfect King James Bible. It doesn't update language of the King James or whatever else. It's a satanic Bible. That's why they have a graven image right here, supposedly the Trinity, um, and it's actually a witch's symbol for their Trinity on the cover of the New King James Version. It's kind of funny because they actually reject Acts chapter 17 verse 29 by trying to put an image of uh, what they would call the Trinity, the Trinitarian symbol right there. So they actually violate their own thing. That's why I guess they had to change it to divine nature and not Godhead. Rather interesting.